Hello and welcome to Bourbon Time. I'm your host, Jordan Steffen, the SAC bartender, sacbartender.com. So today I will be trying the um, small batch uh, family estate uh, Willet rye. Uh, this is the three year rye release um, of their new product that's distilled um, at the um, Willet Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, this one is a three-year. It is uh, bottled at uh, cask strength. In this particular case, uh, it is 110 proof, also known as 55% alcohol by volume. So I'll give myself a small pour. First things first, I'm going to uh, smell the whiskey. So there's a lot more age on the nose in terms of uh, oakiness than I would expect at a pro for a product that's only three years old, which I'm quite uh, pleased with. Some uh, tropical notes, some toasted coconut, very spicy, uh, not a whole lot of uh, alcohol vapors coming off of this, despite being 55%. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, a try. First impression, very sweet as it first hits my palate. There's a lot of uh, heat going on here. I'm definitely going to have to add water to this. But a surprising amount of uh, wood and kind of maturity for something that's only three years old. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. This is a filtered water. Um, sourced from the municipal water supply in Sacramento, California. Getting a lot of the same on the nose. I'm going to go ahead and taste. Getting a lot of uh, candied fruit here. Sort of like an orange marmalade type type thing. The rye spice. Um, surprising a lot of sweetness. Uh, for a rye, um, which I quite like. This is a definitely a bourbon drinker's rye, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of people like bourbon because it is a sweeter spirit. This rye is very is very sweet. Um, has like a like a marshmallow kind of a thing, roasted marshmallow campfire, a nice kind of dry finish um, from the. The tannins in the in the wood, I would suppose. Um, yeah, candied orange peel, toasted marshmallow. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more water to what's left in my glass. Try to bring the proof down further. See if anything else opens up for me. Now I'm getting a bit more uh, green vegetal, kind of sour notes on the nose. Uh, which are characteristic of a rye. Like a tart cranberry sort of thing. Um, the sweet, if if you can imagine that. So, sort of the sour uh, cranberry, sour cherry, but not uh, not um, so acidic. It's a balanced nicely by the sweetness. And some hints of cinnamon, toffee. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. Um, exceptionally uh, well put together and especially uh, focused flavor for such a young whiskey. Um, this is, I quite like this. So, final verdict. Um, I would give this around a, a 92 points.
I generally prefer bourbons, so this is a fantastic example of what a rye can be. And something different than you're going to get from a lot of the ryes that are uh, coming out of Indiana, like the, the bullet rye, uh, for example. So um, for that, I definitely think it's a must try. I'm going to start hearing back from you, the viewers, in the comments below. Maybe uh, let me know, have you, have you tried this uh, Willet three-year? Or maybe have you tried the, the two-year expression? Um, let me know what you thought. Look forward to more uh, reviews coming at you soon. Um, my name is Jordan, and this has been Bourbon Time. Cheers.